Michael Chark from AA Sports Guards here with another quick hit video. Uh, I purchased a large collection recently. I'm going through it year by year, getting it ready uh, to sell. This is uh, the 1960 Topps Hockey set, and I was trying to find something interesting to say about it. And as I was going through it, what uh, kept entering my, my brain was that Topps only had the three American teams uh, for the 1960s set because Parkhurst had Montreal and Toronto and Detroit, the three best teams. So Topps was left with the New York Rangers, the Boston Bruins, which were six years away from getting Bobby Orr, and the Chicago Blackhawks. Now, Chicago is a great team. Glenn Hall in goal, Mr. Goalie, Bobby Hull. I don't have the Stan Mikita rookie because only 40 of the 66 are here. But Chicago also had Pierre Pilat. They were a loaded team. But what's interesting is because Topps only had the three American teams and they had to fill out the set, they went um, back and did uh, something Parkers did five years previously and issued cards of all-time greats. So imagine you're an eight or a nine-year-old kid in 1960 and you've got five cents and you've got to choose between the Parkhurst cards which I should probably show to make the video better but I don't have one handy or the Topps cards you're gonna go with Parkhurst because your dad probably is a Montreal or Toronto fan and you are too or you you know you want Detroit Gordy Howe and Terry Sawchuk you're probably not going to go with Tops, but let's say the corner store runs out of Parker's cards because they're so popular and there's none left. You're stuck with the Tops cards. You rip open the first pack and you get Gump Worsley, great card. And then you get uh, Leo Labine, okay. And then you get George Sullivan, okay. And then you hit this guy. Who is that, you say, your eight-year-old kid says. It's Howie Morenz, which we all know now is one of the greatest players of all time, but a eight-year-old kid in 1960 probably didn't know, probably didn't care. You shuffle through a few more cards in the pack, and you get him. A few more down the line, and you get him. Your last card in the pack is him. Now, if this was 1910, or 1911, or 1912, you'd be doing cartwheels. Not so much in 1960, but spring ahead to today, and this is actually looked at as a very popular, not easy to find set. 40 of the 66 cards are here, including lots of the stars as I've gone through. If you have vintage sports cards, CFL, hockey, baseball, even non-sports, if you have modern, high-end cards, Connor McDavid, Austin Matthews, um, Pedersen and Quinn Hughes from the Canucks, and for whatever reason you do not want to spend the time and effort to sell your own stuff, please contact me. I am a very active buyer. I love to buy collections. Uh, you can read about my business model on my website, which is www.aasportscards.com. It has a lot of the things my YouTube channel does not have. If you're watching this on YouTube, which you probably are, please subscribe to my channel. I'd like to get up to a thousand subscribers. It's kind of a goal for this year and uh, I'm far away from it. Uh, if you want to call me, if you reside in Canada and you want to sell to me, you want to call me 604-726-1774. Uh, or email me through the website. Uh, my email is all over my website. And uh, everybody be safe, everybody be healthy, and thank you for watching this video. Take care, everybody. Stay healthy.